So here is Eton uh, with the continuation of working with the rope. And now I'm going to start uh, introducing him to picking up his front feet by using the help of the rope. So this is uh, a lot safer than kind of getting down there in the beginning with just my body. So just getting him used to a little bit of the sensation so I can get him to step into the loop. And now I'm just having him walk with it on. I'm going to start to add some pressure. That worries him a little bit, but it's okay. I'm going to ask for the pressure again. See if I can get him to pick up that foot. It's fairly uh, common for when you ask them to pick up the foot, they kind of uh, put it right back down and they're very strong. So I'm just waiting for him to kind of give me a little bit more softness. It's kind of the same concept I had with the rope around his butt. So it's the same thing. I'm going to put a little bit of pressure on the leg until he gets a little soft and then I'm going to release. There was a little bit better. I'm still going to hold. And he's just trying to work out what the puzzle is right now. That was pretty good. Give me a lick and chew right there. So I'm going to see if I can direct a little bit. Is that foot? That was really nice. I'm just trying to see if I can get him to almost lead with pressure on the foot. There was really super good. You can start to see the change through his body. And it also helps kind of um, when you're asking to pick up the foot, if you can think a little bit of forward motion instead of going backwards, that's when he gets worried. But if I can get him to think of going forward, then I can get him to start to understand with the pressure of picking up the foot. So again, just adding the pressure and doing little releases. That was really nice right there. And another good one. Nice lick and chew. I'm going to ask again. There was really nice. Give him a little bit of rub. And again, very good. You see his body starting to change. Dropping his neck even lower. And I feel like that's kind of a really good spot right there with that foot. So now I'm going to see if I can switch and get him on the right front. So I just got to get him to step out because again he's too worried for me to kind of bend over and touch his foot so I have to manipulate it a little bit right now there we go I'm able to get that right front now on the rope that was really good reaction working on the right side Again, when he gets worried and he goes backwards, that's when he gets tighter versus when he figures out he can take that step forward. That's, that was actually really good. So I released kind of mid air when he re relaxed a little bit. He's having to deal with a little bit of the visual sensation of my hand in the rope. And then also the feel of the rope on his leg. Yep. 
and that's all right. You can see if he really doesn't want to, he can just take it away. They're very, very strong. I'm not going to win. It's just really teaching him about the pressure and release. Like, I can't physically force his leg by doing this this way. It's just teaching him about the touch and release on the leg. Working on the right side. There was a good change. And again. He gets worried, so I let him just move around. It's fine. Till I go back and ask again. Kind of what I'm looking for is him starting to think his way through instead of just reacting and running. There we go, starting to get a lick and chew. There, he starts to change his body. And again, I'm just having to stay quiet. He's just gotten himself a little amped up. And he wants to kind of block me a little bit. So what I'm kind of looking for, I've kind of let go of the rope. Now I'm moving towards, just want to be able to touch his neck. Which he's been able to let me do. But he's having a little bit of a moment here. There. That's all I wanted. So then I'm going to just back away. Remess with the rope. See if I can get that right front back in there again. There we go. Up. Oh, got both. So now I have to manipulate a little bit. And this actually is an interesting transaction right here because he's learning to soften to my touch, kind of move away from my arm. I'm going to ask him to step forward. Takes a little bit of practice of manipulating, but I got it. Again, working on that right side. That was a pretty good reaction. Got a nice lick and chew. And a deep breath. Gave him a good rub. He's starting to respond to the rubs much better. There was a softening of the neck, so he's starting to really try for me. That was a good boy. That was really good try. So giving him a second here because that was a really good little moment. Again, messing with my rope. 
letting them see kind of my hands do all kinds of different things. There, he lets me go in and pet him. That was pretty good on the neck. Again, that was really good right there. And then I got the whole change. Relaxation a little bit through the whole body. Dropped the head and neck. Took a deep breath. Again, just going through little repetitions of the pressure and release. And he's actually so far handled this exercise really well. Sometimes they, you know, can freak out if their legs have the rope around it, but he's pretty sensible. Just has a little bit of that fear. But once he starts to understand what I'm asking, then uh, he's actually quite willing to do it. And again, that was a good release. Give him a rub. And I'm just working because now he's kind of, he's picking it up nice, but he's not, it's kind of like a paw slash putting it back down. So what I'm kind of looking for is for him to pick it up and kind of wait for me to put it down. That was a good moment right there. He dropped and softened. So that was a nice little spot to kind of change. There, his head and neck drops even a smidge lower. Getting some good looking chews. So now I'm going back to where I touch to see if I can get the head to drop a little bit. There, he was good. And just working with the idea for when I touch him, he would bow up against kind of my hand. So what I'm trying to teach him a little bit is if he puts himself in, the, in a little bit of relaxation, even by dropping just a little bit, I will take it away. So then... In, Essentially, he will drop down into re relaxation with my touch. But you can kind of already tell his demeanor is a little bit better. He just gives you the feeling like he really kind of wants to almost be in your lap and want you to hold him a little bit, but he's just so afraid to just commit to that. <laughs> that fear is pretty well ingrained, but again, he is a guy who's lived wild his life, so it's to be expected. My hand's just placed on his neck, and he literally dropped just like a half an inch. But if you're able to reward the smallest try, uh, then you can get even bigger changes in your horse. So now going back and just rubbing his face a little bit. Now he's coming to me. Some horses you have to watch, kind of coming more so into your space, like my past horse Dorado. That would be more so a dominance more a little aggressive steps, but I get a different feeling from from Eton. It's it's a little bit different. Kind of hard to explain sometimes, but he's just looking for comfort. 
There, I get a really good drop of the neck. And it's kind of just a really fun moment because he seems to be enjoying this a little bit. So, doing a little bit of the rub. Now I'm going to walk a little bit. There was really nice. And again, he's just kind of dropping his head, being really kind of soft. So I'm just trying to play on kind of giving him a little bit of that connection and rubbing his face. Working that to his neck to see if I can get that type of response for when I touch his neck. And he's trying to work it out. Again, like I do uh, some of this work in the round pin, but then I try to spend a lot of time just hanging out with him in the stall, doing a lot of this slow work. And he's trying right here. Probably could have released a little earlier for him. So I waited a little longer than I should have, I think. Now I'm going to try to the right side. That was so much better. He didn't block me at all. Now he got a little worried because I've been there for a minute. But he dropped his head. So again, just trying to teach him kind of the same concept like I was working with the feet with the rope, the body with the rope, my hand with his body, it's all kind of the same concept. Like if he can release and relax to the pressure, he'll start to feel better. And I'm not pushing, I'm just literally just laying my hand on his neck. There he got uncomfortable. So I'm going to work on just holding this position if I can. And just waiting. Sometimes it can be a waiting game. And then you can see I take a deep breath to make sure I'm staying relaxed. And there. Took a little while, but I got it. So then I walk away so I can give him a pretty big release for that. And that was a really good feeling where he came to walk to me. And then again, I'm just waiting. This is kind of like the slow stuff. There we go. Got the lick and chew. And he, you might see him kind of going back and forth, switching with resting a leg. There's nothing wrong with his legs anymore. He's sound. He's just kind of working out kind of tension in his body. I'm going to go back to the right side. Again, I take a deep breath 
to see if I can bring my energy down to help him kind of lower his as well. There was a nice change. So then I'm going to walk away. And it's funny to go and watch back because there I was scratch my face where before a couple of sessions he would have bolted just with that little movement. So moving in the right direction. And I'm just waiting. Just being in the presence of him right now. I'm going back to the left side. There, I kind of blocked his head just a little bit because the energy felt like it was changing some. And it was going up versus down. So that's why I blocked his head just a little bit because again I'm a little bit on guard because of past experience sometimes and I feel that up in the energy. There he dropped his head. It was nice. So I'm going to give him a rub on the jaw. And we're just kind of building our relationship right here. So this is kind of the really fun part where he's showing me glimpses of letting go. So I give him a little rub. You may see I focus more on the left side because he's more comfortable on that side and then I'll go back to the right. And I found if I just don't, if I go back and I worry too much about the right side and pick at it too much, then they stay too tense. But you go work that side, go back to the good side. Uh, you keep doing that and then they start to figure it out. He's really starting to drop his head. Now I feel like I can touch him a little bit better and he doesn't bow up so much when I go to touch the neck. He seems to really like the left side of his cheek is kind of like the spot right now that he gives me to rub. So I'm just going to do that and then he really drops his head down. That was nice. Now I'm just looking for a spot to kind of finish up with. And that was it. So that was really good. Good session for him.